Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show you five useful tips for the ABAP editor. So with these five tips, you will increase your productivity and will be your yeah, program easier and faster and within ABAP. And in my opinion, the most important tip is basically to search for different ABAP objects. So for example, for function modules, for classes, for programs and so on. And here right now I have opened up the SE80 transaction. So the object navigator. And here right now you have the this button edit object. So if you open up or if you click on this button, then a pop-up will open up to select your object that you would like to select. So here right now you have two radio buttons. So the development object, or uh, you can also select the enhance options. And there you have so many possibilities. So for example, here you can search for a transaction, you for a dialogue module and a lot, a lot more. So there's so many possibilities. And for example, if we open up the transaction FB60, for example, hit the enter key, then directly you will move to the yeah, built-in SE93 transaction to have a closer look on the transaction code. And for example, with double click on the program, um, you can directly see um, the program, what is happening within here. And um, yeah, you have so many possibilities if you were here because we are displaying the dialogue transaction. If you would like to um, have this button available once again, just go um, one step back and then you have this button added object once again. Because what would be the alternative? For example, um, as um, I would like to show you with the development object, for example, if you would like to open up a class, a function module, a program, whatsoever. You have normally to go into the um, yeah into the corresponding transaction. So for example, here I have a program set underscore test. And if I just um, type in the name, of course, I can also use the for help. But now I have typed in the set underscore test. I can also do, of course, a wildcard search with asterisk and so on. But here to show you this, then I hit the enter key or click on this button. Then I choose what kind of type I would like to select because there are multiple objects available. In this case, a program. So I double click and then directly the corresponding object is opened up what would be the alternative as mentioned because why is this this tip so extremely useful um, you would have to search for the uh, program in this case um, um, regarding the corresponding package or you have to go for example into the corresponding transaction so for example if you would like to open up a program then you have to open up the se38 transaction to open up the abap editor type in once again the name click on display change whatever you like to and then you are in here and you you will be so extremely useful and faster because you don't have to open up the corresponding transaction you can directly as mentioned click on this button edit object type in the name and then the corresponding transaction will be opened up built in the object navigator and you have also the possibility for example if we open up the se38 as mentioned so the ABAP editor uh, let's um Let's go, for example, uh, within here to, to see the editor. Then you have this button here as well. So you click on other object, then you have the pop up within here as well. So this is so useful. You don't have to open up the corresponding transaction to just look up the object to make some changes and so on. I can highly recommend to search and to select for different objects. The next tip I would like to show you is kind of like the split screen. So here right now I have basically opened up the function group or the program basically that is being executed if you type in the transaction code Miro. And here you can see that there are basically a lot of lines of code. 
you have a lot of includes and so on and you have to scroll um, you know, a little bit up and down and for example if you would like to see okay what is happening uh, at the top what kind is yeah, is happening so maybe jump into the global data so what kind of declarations are there what is happening at the end and so on where the logic normally happens you have to scroll a lot and um, what you can also do is you can use a split screen within the editor so here at the top right corner if i move my cursor on this yeah, kind of like button and then you can see that my cursor changes and if i now click on this button then you can see that there is one bar and if i yeah, um move it a little bit down then you can see that now i have split my screen and now for example down there i can see okay what is kind of like the logic then i can go to to the uh, top topper uh, split screen and see what's what's kind of like declared and so on of course you can also double click on one variable to jump to the declaration that is also possible but within the split screen yeah you kind of like split your other program to search on different parts and if you would like to reset this then just go to this bar move it to the top and then you have one screen once again so that's kind of like easy so now i would like to show you one of my favorite tips within the app of editor i lose use this tip uh, very very often in my daily work and this is code template or code templates in general and here i have opened up my um, sample program once again set underscore test and now to show you this i go into the edit mode and here at the bottom right corner there you can see what one button that is so extremely useful and if i click on this button then the options will open up and here you can of course make some changes on the app of editor as you like to but within the code templates and there you can open up the code templates and here basically i've also made an own video about code templates how they um, work how you can use them so i will link this video if you would like to get it closer but basically you have one id so for example this is now block and then if you type in this code template this id within the editor and then hit hit the tab key then this code will be uh, put into your code and replaces the written id and you can also use some parameters so for example that you can add one value and the value will be put into the parameter so for example let's show you this on the block uh, here at the bottom just type in block and now um, okay you have to a little bit faster you can see the tooltip hit the top key and then here you can see the parameter so for example in this case description and for example please subscribe this channel if you have not done this thank you so much by the way and then just hit the ok button and then this code is put into your editor so so useful once again go into the possibilities you can of course do this for um, for your comments for some statements what you like to this is really um, useful and you should use this um, of course this is really really uh, useful what you can also do is you can use favorites also within the sea team so within the object navigator and to do this here you have your favorites button so first of all within the tree structure you have to select or to to yeah to click on your program or to your object that you would like to add as a favorite so for example set set underscore test and click here on favorites click on add and then you have successfully added your object as a favorite and you can um, see this here under program sets a test and if i click on this then you can see your favorites here and you can uh, see okay i don't want to save this you can easily see um, your favorites um, so yeah, you don't have to to scroll there to search for your objects this is a easier way to search it if you manually using types if you manually declare some types then i would like also to introduce the abap type builder 
And to um, use this great tool, you have to use the code completion. And to do this, first of all, you have to type in types and then hit the key combination, control and space. Um, yeah, you have to be a little bit faster than I am. So type in types, control and space. Then here you have your um, suggestions, your uh, proposed statements, and then we are using types. And then just uh, with your um, up and down buttons of your keyboard, for example, if you have just typed in type, then go to types and then hit the enter key. And then this... Basically, this pop-up will open up. That is the ABAP type builder. Within here, you can declare your um, your type that is available. So, for example, just for demo purposes, echo, click on preview type, and then deselect everything and select that you would like to use within your types, just, just one few components for demo purposes, and then confirm it, continue. And then basically here you have declared your own type. So you don't have to do it manually. This is so easy and yeah, faster than you have previously done it. Um, I can highly recommend. And if you would like to um, learn more about the ABAP type builder, I've also done an own video to the to explain to you the detailed script, the own uh, the the um, single steps. Um, if you would like to, then you can watch this video and more closer. At the beginning of this video, I've mentioned that I would like to show you five tips. But there I would like to mention one more tip that can be ki kind of like useful and it is kind of like comparable to the code templates, but it is or might be useful for you as well. And within here, I mean the patterns. So you can create own patterns if you would like to. So if you click on pattern and then add a pattern here, I have created one pattern, uh, test two, and then I confirm it. Then you can see that my own pattern was inserted and you can create, you can change existing patterns that you like to. And this can be done under the menu function utilities. And then you go to more utilities and then to edit pattern. And then here you can create a pattern. So for example, now we can create test three if you like to. And within here you have the possibility to create a lot of text, um, your pattern that you want to. So for example, this can be kind of like useful if you, for example, have one uh, comment block always being used at the header of a program. So then create a program, then directly insert the pattern. Um, so you don't have to here um, copy and paste the pattern um, or type in manually the text, of course. And for example, here, once again, this, or of course, I can't mention it as often as I want to. Please subscribe this channel if you have not done this. Thank you so much um, for your amazing support. This is really great. And then save your pattern and basically um, yeah let's go one step back and now if i click on pattern and then other pattern and now i'm using the cre all, uh, previously created one test three and now here you can see that the pattern has been inserted and once again on the utilities more utilities and then added pattern change pattern for example we can change test three to something else, click on save, and then you have also changed your existing pattern. This can be kind of like useful for different purposes. And yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, see you in the next video.